Okay, guys, we're back with the 2006 WR250F. We're going to do the oil change on it for the FLB Club. And this is how you go about doing it on this bike. Now, if the bike is warm, you're going to want to check the dipstick here. So, we'll assume, you, so let's say you don't know how warm the bike is. So, you don't know if there's any oil in the tube, in the frame. Pull it out, and you would check it. And there's hash marks on this side. Obviously, nothing's on it. It's dry. That just says the that's the bike 5 UN or M. So that's a way to check your oil if the bike's been running because it's going to get pumped up into the frame. You also, if it was warm, you would A, check the oil from there, B, go down to here, undo this bolt, drain the oil out of the frame. But if the bike's been cold, been sitting a while, it's all gravity works. It's all down in the engine. So you got your fill. Get this off. <laughs> it's not a dipstick, it's just a fill. It has a rubber seal on it. I'll kind of clean that up a little, a little bit of dirt on it. That's where you put the oil in. Take the oil out. Is this bolt right here, which is a 12 millimeter. And then on this side, Right here is your oil filter. You just take off right here and this will come off and you replace your oil filter. Two bucks on Amazon. This is your coolant. So we're not doing that right now. Although I'm probably going to go ahead and change that anyways, because who knows. While I have the oil drained, I'm going to lay the bike on its side, take off the clutch cover because it's easy. Because being a race bike, they make them easy so you can replace clutches, take a look at them. And we're just gonna inspect it just to make sure like what the wear looks like. So there's an idea. It is a 2006, but it's been lightly ridden. So I don't think there's an issue, but why not take a look, you know? So I already broke this bolt free. It's just a 12 mil. And <laughs> I thought it was there. In typical bikes, they're kind of messy. I don't know when the last time the guy did it. He didn't ride the bike much. He might have just never done it because he just doesn't ride a lot. That's why anytime you buy a used bike, go ahead and change all the fluids. So for the oil filter side, it's going to be a 5 Allen. Pretty easy to figure these out. A lot of people will always worry about, but obviously, short one doesn't fit there. And long one is going to start threading right away. But you can lay them out too. If there's a lot of them, like the clutch cover, you can lay them out just so it goes quicker and you don't have to figure it back out. Oh, that one's a short one that goes in or doesn't have threads all the way. Which again, if you were to go up here, it just doesn't fit into the case. So you start threading it and it's too big. Just drips into my <laughs> Man, that oil filter looks old. But that's what it looks like. There's an O-ring. Yeah, that's what it looks like inside. Hey guys, so we have the old filter here. You can see a lot less pleats than the K&N. Gasket on both sides. And then the K&N one, same thing, rubber gasket on both sides. K&N-141. And it only goes on one way because there's this part that sticks up. So even if you tried to do the wrong way, you're like, nope, it doesn't work. So it goes on just like that. This is what the pressure pushes is the bypass. It looks like it's been in for a while. That cleaned up the best I can with towels. Got the gasket back on and time to put this back on. So I got the oil filter back on and the cover on and bolted down with oil filter replacement one 1.3 liters, 1.37 US quarts. So I basically drained the oil, did the oil filter, and now we're gonna inspect the clutch before I put new oil in it. Note to self, this skid plate holds a lot of oil, and just because you have the petcock off on this tank, make sure you turn off this petcock, which is just a twisty knob, and with it open, it was just draining fuel. To take off the clutch cover, 
you're gonna have to, I don't know if you can see, but that bolt's an eight mil top, but it's too long, can't push down enough, can't pull up enough. Fortunately, they designed it with a long bolt. So, have to take a six mil, take a six mil Allen and undo the brake. Kind of stinks. Which is probably for the best taking this off because this groove is to hold lube and there's no lube for the brake pedal. So put some grease in there and put it back together and that'd be good to go. I'll clean it up too. That just keeps it free and smooth. So that's what it looks like in your clutch cover on a WR250F from 2006. A 10 mil socket is the size. I don't even know why they would do a Japanese industrial standard fitting. I'm assuming that is not Phillips on these heads. Some idiot would try to, you know, tighten them down with a Phillips and booger those up. Just kind of like previous owners did with that fastener that has both. So just using a 10, an idiot actually tried using a Phillips and it just rounds it out, cams it out because they didn't use a JIS. Please don't use a Phillips. And even if you have a Japanese industrial standard that looks like a Phillips, don't use it on your clutch. Use a 10 mil. I figured you guys would want to see this. So just evenly undo these. Same thing for putting it back on. Tighten them even once there's pressure. Actually came off really easy. So this is what it looks like on a WR250F. Back side, that looks pretty good. Yeah, I'm gonna say these are pretty good. I don't know if it's ever been inspected, looked at, changed. Looks good. The plate's not black or anything. Hasn't been fried. These look mint. So yeah, this bike has very low hours. I think these are original. So everything stands up to with what the guy said. And it all looks good. So we'll just put this back together. Well, I got the clutch back together and it's time for the oil. And it says it takes 1.3 liters, so this goes up to 1,000. I bought this at Walmart a long time ago. If I can find one online, I'll put a link in the description. So all done with the oil. Still have a drip here and there just from the, the messy skid plate. That kind of stinks. Not much I can do about that. Try to clean it up some with the brake parts cleaner. Put in some 15W40 T5. It's gonna be warm soon, so it's good to run some heavier oil, especially if you're giving this bike a workout on some harder trails. They, even the manual says to run a heavier oil. There we have it. Hopefully this helped you out if you're looking at a WR250F from 2006. Uh, next time I'll bring you the radiator, unibiker radiator braces, installing those, and a little bit on the fork seal replacement. I see there's other videos, so I probably won't do in depth, but I'll just do like a little video of just kind of doing it and anything I find maybe different or odd or, you know, whatever, or how easy it is, my opinions, basically. So there we have it, all done and ready to start and check the oil. Remember, on this bike, you let it warm up. And then you check the oil up here, this little dipstick. So let it run for 10 minutes or so until the bike's warm. Until the oil has gone basically through is what you're doing. So the frame of this bike will keep some of the oil. And a lot of bikes do that, DRZ400, my XR650R for example. And you're gonna be checking the oil up here because it's going to mainly be up here. It's not gonna be down there. Unless the bike is cold, then it is down there because it, gravity has worked it all down. So there you go. Please like, subscribe, and keep following along. Have a good one.